My name is Mitch Mitchell. I'm here at the Four States Monument in the Confederate Cemetery of Fayetteville, Arkansas. And this is my art history project. State Memorial in the Confederate Cemetery some 25 years later. Early in the organization's history, the women wanted a long-term memorial to the Confederate soldiers from the Four State region who had given their lives for the cause of the Confederate States of America. Donations were accepted from small towns across Northwest Arkansas and various fundraisers were held. Sixteen designs were submitted for the monument, but the winning submission was from F. H. Venn Company of Memphis. The cornerstone was, de was dedicated on May 1, 1897. In the, corner in the cornerstone was placed on the list of the dead soldiers buried in the cemetery. The first silver dollar contributed for the monument and other items. The memorial was unveiled on June 10, 1897. The cemetery is an octagon and divided into eight triangular sections, with the apex of each section meeting the base of the monument, which is at the center of the grounds. Four of these sections are for graves, alternating with four for green space. One grave section is devoted to Missouri, one to Texas, one to Louisiana, and one to Arkansas. The monument itself is gray granite. It is basically an oblast from which is a four-sided pillar which tapers at the top and ends in a pyramidal top. However, in place of the pyramidal top, there is a copper statue of a confederate soldier, soldier aptly referred to as a, shaft, as a shaft in the history of the Southern Memorial Association of Washington County, Arkansas. Oblasks uh, were first created by the Egyptians as a monument to the sun god Ray. The strong shape and vertical direction represents the connectivity between the earth, the, the sky, and the sun. They are also symbols of the male potency and are associated with phallic symbols. After the Renaissance, the oblast was commonly used for monuments and can be seen all over the world. In the United States, the Washington Monument and the Monument at Bunker Hill in Boston are two of the, well, the more well-known designs. There were, they were especially popular at the turn of the century and can be seen in almost cemetery honoring Civil War dead. The Four States Monument is known for the meaningful design which extends beyond the monument itself and into the cemetery. Each facade bears the name of the state whose grave section it faces and at the top is the seal of the state represented. To the west, Texas, there are crossed swords. To the north or Missouri side has a drum and a fife. The south or Louisiana facade has cross sabers. To the east or Arkansas side there is a, fur a furled banner which is background for the seal of the confederacy. Further up the monument are seals for each state. The confederate private watches protectively over the graves of his comrades. The entire site purches on a hillside overlooking Fayetteville, Arkansas.